safety is number one for BAE systems, above all else. And then, let's get the job done from there. Every day, all of our employees, including myself, including the management team, we are scouring the facility trying to improve the safety environment for all of our employees. The process is always being redefined and made better. Communication is the big thing. We have to talk. We tend to have safety meetings every Monday morning. At those meetings, we go over near misses, uh, recordables, and tips that we can use to help us on our day-to-day -day activities. Our safety leader is also really good to post things in the, the break rooms and any kind of areas that there's new communication or if something has happened. He's good to, to flow that down to let us know what's happened and then hopefully so that's prevented in the future. Well, we were testing the ramp and I was in the driver's hole starting the vehicle up and he was on the outside watching for people out of harm's way. And we raised the ramp up, and as it got to the top, I guess the cylinder gave out and it just pre fell. The ramps never fall, it's like you never think it's gonna happen. So when it did happen, it was like a big shock to me. If somebody would have walked under the ramp when it was pre fell, they would have got crushed. Because we followed the procedure, they didn't really have to make any changes to the procedure. They just kind of um, put more stress on the fact that a ramp did fall. An excellent way of creating a safety culture is not repeating mistakes. So every incident that occurs here, whether it was a first aid, a lost time, or just a potential, we investigate it, again, making sure that we don't repeat it tomorrow. It doesn't matter your seniority, your time with the company. Um, we're all responsible to look out for things that we can improve to make sure our people, our customers, our suppliers, our partners are safe here at BA Systems. When I first took over, the leadership of our safety, health, and environmental leadership council, an employee put in a near miss on me and what I was doing. And I was thankful. We're taught that we can stop and we can raise our hand and we can talk to our manager or our safety leader if we feel like there's an unsafe working condition and they'll help us work through that. Safety is more important than a deadline. So every program that we manage has a uh, metric for the level of safety on the program. So if you are adhering to safe practices uh, within the program, you're actually measured against making sure that you are proceeding forward with the program in a safe manner. So anyone who says, hold up, there's a safety problem, they're actually celebrated as a person who kept the program moving forward safely and not seen as the person who stopped the program in its tracks. In our weld department, we have, uh, they're called turnovers, hull turnovers, where the hull rotates so our welders don't have to be in unfriendly ergonomic positions. And we had an incident where our bolts were not torqued in all the way, so the hull could actually dislodge from the turnover and create a significant injury. Um, we shut the process down and created actually a special project team to identify all the issues and address it throughout every line of vehicle we have here. It's easy to look at production floor as a lot of hazards that, that our team navigates through. And those are front and central to, the, to that team and, and they work at navigating through those. But there's hazards in every part of our business. There's hazards walking up the stairs and making sure we're holding on to handrails. Lifting heavy boxes, you know, lifting properly, using your legs. Slips, trips, and falls are a key challenge for us. Um, those can happen anywhere. Those can happen in the parking lot, etc. So really keeping an awareness for where we're at and what we can be doing. So you don't typically think about those kind of safety hazards in the workplace, but they're definitely present. I view it as when I'm at work, this is the most important thing I'm doing to take care of the most important things outside of work. I work for Toys for Tots. I also am a foster parent and also an adopted parent, plus I have two grandchildren. Because I have a little girl at home waiting for me and she needs a mama. <laughs> I got three little girls at home that depend on me and uh, want to see their dad come home every night. I got two dogs at home and unconditional love when I go walk in the door. I have two daughters and a wife and aside from that I don't like pain. Well, Safety is important to me because I like every piece of me. So. <laughs> I'd like to take it home with me when I, if I bring it in here. Everyone, including myself, wants to be able to come home to your family, your friends, your spouses, be able to play your sports and 
and have fun with all your other life activities. So if I'm unable to perform those functions outside of work, that means I'm not being safe here. 